Mimic Bruce in the house. What's up, dude? How you doing? Ooh, what is Flare? Hold on a sec. I want to see what Flare does. Oh, shit. Can I do Flare? Okay. And then add Tiny Twinkles. It's it's so silly. It's so silly. It's all aesthetic, but we're going to do it. F it. I want to see what this animation looks like. Ooh. Okay. Got it. Let's go. We added some Twinkles, baby. Up making this pretty official probably within the next like month or so do you think this will have its own niche on youtube like pogo mimic brew it will absolutely have its own niche on youtube like pogo like there will be tcg pocket uh personalities that come out of nowhere people you've never heard of and they will get way more famous than any of us will ever hope to be there will absolutely be a mystic seven of pokemon tcg pocket hell Maybe Mystic 7 becomes the Mystic 7 of Pokemon TCG Pocket. I have no idea. But yeah, there will absolutely be a whole different... And that's what's great about this game. Like, even if you don't like it yourself, like, even if you're not stoked about it, like, this game will open up a whole new part of the internet that people who like Pokemon, they can all, you know, get behind it and, and have a good time. So, me? I don't know. I, I can make a lot of content on this. I, my, uh, Pokey any seven. What's going on, Bruce? In this week's hottest cards of the week, Charmander is on fire. Huh? Charmander on fire? 151 in general is on fire. Okay, some sword and shield alt arts, Moon Brian. Mm -hmm. A couple sword and shield alt arts are up, all right. And uh, yeah, our best price banger is a 10x in a PSA 10. But first, our second to final Polka Positivity September giveaway. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Okay, so the winner of the Retro Universe giveaway, the My Retro Universe final giveaway, 15 packs and seven promos is Shadow Monk 36. Congratulations, Shadow Monk 36. And guys, my God, the Mimic Brew Army is strong. The amount of you that went over to his channel and commented and liked and even subscribed to him, like, oh my God, it brought a freaking tear to my eye. Quick announcement, Monday, will be the final Poke Positivity upload and giveaway. And guys, courtesy of TCA Gaming, I will be opening up a 25th anniversary booster box and a celebrations ETB that Rusty TCA Gaming sent me for you guys for Poke Positivity September. And I will be giving away all the hits that I pull to one of you lucky subscribers. And so for today's giveaway, Brian, guys, okay, so Brian, this man, Pokeyeni, he sent me this to give away to you. Valued on eBay about $100, and on Amazon, $140, there is no promo in here. This is a display only, you're going to get a derpy, a derpy cue as well. But let's check this out real quick. So, you can take the plastic off. It even has a hard plastic sleeve that you can still display. A deck box, play mat, sleeves, all that. Valued over $100, courtesy of Brian Pokeyini, the final Pokeyini giveaway. All you have to do to enter it to win this and the DBQ is, let's say, right in the comment section. Be, hey, be subscribed, hit that notification bell, and then write... Pokey and E7. That's all you got to do to win this Unagaba display collection box. Thanks again, Brian. Thanks again, TCA. And thanks again, My Retro Universe. Seeing how many of you guys, how many of you, my viewers, my little army of people, my little community, seeing how many of you actually did go over to Retro Universe's uh, newest video and leave a comment. Um, I know what it's like to be, you know, a tiny little baby YouTuber and only have 200 subs. And, um, you know, to w for him to, you know, wake up to probably 80 or 90 notifications, you know, have a video over a thousand views, all that. Like, 
I just, you know, no one ever really did that for me when I was his size. So that's just something I always said I wanted to do to somebody else, another content creator, if I ever get big enough to have an impact. But to see you guys just show up the way you did and support him and even subscribe to him, that might be my new favorite, like, YouTuber memory or whatever, even above going to meet TCA Gaming. Because, yeah, that's all I've ever wanted to do is have a place to talk about Pokemon cards on a weekly basis in the way that I like to talk about them and the subjects I like to talk about. But And then, you know, build a little community to talk with about said Pokemon cards. But all right, so thank you guys very much. And again, we are almost done with Poke Positivity September. So let's get in to last week's hottest cards. Good job. All right, so Armin Mewtwo is ran sideways for the second time ever. The rules are, as far as this last week's big board, is if you run sideways twice in a row, aka two yellow numbers two weeks in a row, that's how you fall off, okay? So two sideways or one red, you fall off. Unless you have special uh, special scenario like the Greninja we're keeping on there no matter what for a while to see where it goes. All right, so Eevee Unagaba is 27. That's two that's two in a row. There we go. So what a better what better, you know, day than to say goodbye to Eevee Unagaba than the same day we're giving away a Unagaba collection box. So Eevee, it was fun. You were here for like 3 months. See you later. Greninja. Greninja's going back up. Greninja's up to 285.93. Mew EX SIR, the bubble Mew. Uh, it, it, sideways, okay? It's just hanging around the $93 mark right now. They're the low 90s. Mew EX, full art, legendary treasures, radiant collection. This card is having one hell of a year. And guys, let, let me throw up some PSA 10 sales, okay? This card has sold over $1,000 in a PSA 10 multiple times in the last couple months, all right? So if you're wondering why this card is suddenly going up in price so much over the last month and a half, it's because people are noticing that PSA 10 price, that PSA 10 premium is huge. Okay, so look, both the Charmander scenario right now, okay? We're going to look at a couple Charmanders right after we're done here because there are Charmanders that are absolutely popping off including this one so Charmander IR from Pokemon 151 is up to almost 40 freaking dollars the illustration rare Charmander Giovanni's Riz see you later Pikachu and Zekrom see you later beautiful promo beautiful Sun and Moon is just one of the best eras ever seriously Squirtle Squirtle's up Squirtle's up to 3281. Umbreon, the poor man's Moonbreon, up to just barely up a little. $8.92. Bulba, Bulba, Bulba. Bulba's down a little, so, you know, he, 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 we're going to say goodbye to Bulbasaur for now. I love you, little guy. Blastoise, Blasty Boy. He's sideways, okay? And then, uh, speaking of Blast, Blasty Boy SIR, Venusaur SIR, that actually is a little more considerable of a little fall off, so see you later. A Venus Soar. Okay, and then Mew EX Double Red. There's a lot of a lot of Scarlet and Violet 151. It's just doing very good right now. It's almost like every all the card values are building up to an eventual reprint around holidays, and everything's gonna crash, and everyone's gonna freak out, and all you're gonna see is Scarlet and Violet 151 to zero, and then it's gonna come back, and it's gonna be fine, but it's gonna be something to talk about. So in other words, all these Scarlet and Violet 151s are going up. There will be a reprint. They will go down, and then they will go back up. That's just the way things go around here, guys. Okay, so anyway, Mew EX Double Rare, uh, down to 577. See you later. Prime Catcher. Prime Catcher is down. See you later. And it's going to go down eventually here pretty shortly in the near couple months. Petrant EX Hyper Rare. I just pulled the SIR. I finally pulled something good from Shrouded Fable last night. I literally pulled the Petrant EX SIR from a three-pack blister, I guess, that shredded fumble is a good set after all. <laughs> all right, but still, see you later. Power Glass Hyper Rare. The uh, shredded fumble Hyper Rares, they're the only set in Pokemon history where the Hyper Rares are actually worth something, I swear. All the Hyper Rares from the set are holding a lot of value, and we're going to talk about that later. Also, so uh, Power Glass Sideways, um, speaking of Earthen Vessel, the Wooden Bowl, is up to 67.73. Terrapagos pronounced like Galapagos EX Double Rare from uh, Stella Crown is just up just a little, 13.89. Th 
And guys, here's the other Charmander uh, we're going to look at here in a sec, like literally a second. And that is the Pokemon Center exclusive promo from the Obsidian Flames ETB. That is shot all the way up to 64 freaking dollars and 65 freaking cents. And then sad face, Mim Mimikyu promo though, down just a little. And you know, it's down enough to where it's red. So I'll see you later. See you later, little guy. Uh, Teal Mask Ogre Pond, guys, in the last four months, there have been over 13,000 copies of this card sold on TCG Player. 13,000. If you watched last week's, this week's hottest card, you saw the shock on my face when I realized that in real time. And yeah. And the best price banger from last week was Roaring Moon EX SIR, my favorite Scarlet and Violet uh, SIR, and it's 4671. Okay, let's get into this week's hottest cards, some Charmanders and some Alt Arts and some other go goodies, okay? Oh my god! Alright, so here we go. Charmander IR from Scarlet and Violet 151 on the three month. You can see here it's up to $38.44 with an average daily sold of eight on the three month and an eight on the one month. $38.38 right here now. And this is Friday early afternoon. I am literally uploading this video like an hour after I'm talking right now. Because, yeah, we're, we're late on this upload. But $38.38, that's Charmander. Let's take a look at the one year. So you can see since April or May, it's just straight up with uh, higher lows and just, just keeps chugging and chugging upwards, okay? All right, let's look at the other Charmander. The Obsidian Flames Pokemon Center exclusive ETB Charmander. Look at this. It was literally $44 on September 14th. Now it is $64.65. We have a lot. 10, 10 sold on the 22nd, that volume bar back there. But yeah, so we're talking massive growth for some very exclusive premium what a lot of people are calling first edition cards now yeah <laughs> they're not they're they're even rarer than that to be honest uh but yeah so charmander 64 dollars this is now past snorlax as the most exp most valuable pokemon center exclusive stamp promo snorlax is now under charmander there you go all right is it because people just want this card for the the new three illustration rares now that stellar crown's out Maybe, but these cards are actually very exclusive and they come out of a hobby box that has a very limited print run. All right, now let's get into this, this week's actual hottest cards. Cleffa, Cleffa's been on this list, fell off this list, came back on this list, and now it's a month later and Cleffa's back on this list. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Here's a six month chart. It was on, then it was off, then it was on, then it was off, now it's back on. It might have been four times? I don't know. Over the last three months, this is not the first time we've seen Cleffa. I mean, there are a lot of obsidian obsidian flames starting to grow in value like for a little dinky set with easy pull rates starting to starting to fill out some lower in value for sure but cleffa right now is at an all-time high at almost ten dollars nine dollars and 63 cents let's move on speaking of obsidian flames pidgey look at this look at pidgey pidgey seven dollars and 54 cents now that's the three month that you see right there a little higher average daily sold, especially on the one month of 14 copies. But look at that, just pew! Pidgey, Pidgey is flying very high at the moment. And uh, let's see, Pidgey on September 10th was $4.45, $8.85, Pidgey Obsidian Flames. All right, now we're getting into the Scarlet and Violet 151. Here's uh, most people's, a lot of people's favorite card from Scarlet and Violet 151. It's definitely one of my favorites. And it's Dragon A. Oh, right. This is a lot of people's favorite Stage 1 Pokemon, just straight up, when it comes to Stage 1ers. But let's look at Dragonair. So, 20 bucks, 20 50 It's basically tied its all-time high. Let's look, let's look at that again. So, yeah, it's been flirting between 15 and 20 It's gotten close to 20 and fallen back down a bunch. But it's at 20 50 right now. And higher lows, the one month looks good. And we have 10 average daily sold for a non-playable card. It's pretty good. Dragonair is doing good, and then I personally expect Dragonair to hold over 20, finally. I, I don't know if it's going to go back down to 15, but then again, Pikachu is going through the same thing, where it keeps floating up and up and below uh, the $20 mark. Okay, now let's go to 
I pulled this bad boy. I don't do very many openings on this channel, but when uh, Scarlet and Violet 151 came out, I did do an opening, and I did pull this bad boy, and I did have fire flames around the borders. I was so proud of myself. $38, like, around the borders of my, like, editing, like, on the TV, you know. I was like, woo, fire. All right, so $38.55. Uh, let's pull it back a little. Let's look at the six month. This is definitely a six month high. I don't think it's a year high because it hit like, yeah, 39.47 in February. But man, it's it's literally right there. There it is. And it is a very embossed, very beastly full art. And for a Charizard, you know, it just looks, a, there's so many Charizard cards, but this one's fairly unique looking, uh, you know, I would say. So for a full art, almost $40. Um, you know, being Char Charizard being Charizard, I think it it warrants this price, especially from the set. And guess who's back? Chonky Boy. Chonky Boy's back. So Chonky Boy keeps doing this ping pong between 120 and 130, but it's ping ponged back up to 128.42. Okay. So look at this. We woo. We hit 129. That's why he was on the list a few weeks ago. But then he fell off the list. I think last week or something, maybe two weeks ago. But now he's back up again because on this week we had 25 copies sold on september 25th okay and uh should we see some sales i think some sales were saying like 144 140 yeah 140 yeah 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 a couple 140s that's really helping out the price right now will it finally crack 130 i i said that exact thing a month ago and it didn't and so now it's trying again let's zoom it out real quick zoom it out real quick did you see higher lows starting in march and maybe this is the time it finally next week or a week from two breaks 130. Would anybody be surprised? I sincerely doubt it because Greninja is even going back up to 300 apparently. All right. So anything's possible in this beautiful new amazing era that is so much better than Sword and Shield. Duh. Okay. So Metagross. Uh, Temporal Forces. This card just keeps like... This is another one. About a month ago it was on the list and then it fell right off. So around here. Yeah. And then it fell off. I think it was even on this list. Yeah, it was on this list. This is a third time Metagross is on this list. And, and now it's at an all-time high. So Metagross, Temporal Forces, you're doing great. Look at that. There's your little, your little one-year chart there. See that? See all that? See that? Remember when it came out, this card was five bucks. It was even cheaper than that at one point, I swear. It was like three bucks. Now it's double digits. Good for you, Metagross. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll look into what the PSA 10 is going for and see if that has anything to do with it. But not right now, because, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to do. All right, so Shrouded, sh Shredded, Fumble, pardon me, Hyper Rares. The only set in Pokemon history where Hyper Rares are actually valuable. Uh, Metal Energy. I brought this up a couple weeks ago. Or no, is it, uh, did I? I think I did. Did it fall off? I don't know. Maybe it went sideways and I knocked it off. But here it is again. So, 2268. Zoomy, zoomy out. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Oh, zoomy, zoomy out a little less. Look at that. Woo! Okay. That, that, that was crazy to me. And then guess what? It's a twin brother, sister, I don't know, whatever this one is. Let's make this one the boy. Oh, I why, why would I make one a boy? Who cares? I don't know. Darkness energy, also shredded fumble, also hyper rare. Hoo woo! You see that? What is going on? These hyper rares are so valuable. It's almost like they're playable or people really do actually want shredded fumble uh, stuff for their TCG. And the Pokemon company, I think they even said they kind of made catered the set towards TCGs and players. At least that's what the thought was. And yeah, these hyper rares are blinging out decks and a lot of them uh, belong to shredded fumble so look at that Woo! okay is there anything else from shredded fumble no stellar crown so let me introduce you to stellar crown's only card since release to actually go up in price literally i mean tropico cx double rare just a teeny little bit right but uh and then squirtle like a dollar bulbasaur like a dollar everyone thought that those two by now one of them would have got pumped including me with squirtle squirtle but uh but it's dash bun look at this dash bun was down to 22 23 bucks almost just around 20 i actually remember seeing but now it's up to almost 30 dollars so oh no i said it wrong it's not dash bun it's dock spun you know who you are thank you for correcting me it's dock spun right yeah dock spun it's dock spun it's not dash bun it's dock spun okay so dock spun dock spun yeah Sorry, I don't know why I did a Boston accent. But yeah, so Doc Spun is doing... I can't say it without sounding like a like I'm from Boston. Doc Spun. Doc Spun. Doc Spun. Shut up, Mimic Brew. All right, let's move on. Uh, oh, yeah, so here's another stamp promo. Uh, yeah, yeah, so now this is the second... Ooh, wait, it's so close. Yeah, yeah, the Charmander was more. But uh, just a little bit ago, uh, Snorlax, the uh, Scarlet and Violet 151 ETB promo 
uh, just this week was $54, now it's $60, okay? Or it went even lower than that, it was like, yeah, 53 bucks. Now look at that, just shot up in the last week. So there you go, but it's still not good enough to maintain first place, because Charmander just flew right by it. Yes, it did. And, uh, what else we got? Well, let's hurry up and wrap it up. Hey, trainer gallery. Garchomp V was actually on this list as, like, the only trainer gallery a couple weeks ago, and then it fell off. But now look, it's literally like the only trainer gallery that's trending upwards right now. So look at that, you got your shark fin for your SWSH bubble, everyone knows everything went up and then everything went down. But you can see a slow, slow churn slowly back up to 30 with on the three month higher lows, higher lows. So this is looking like it's slowly, but slowly, but slowly and surely establishing itself in, in that top three along with Pikachu and Starmie V. Uh, well, and Rayquaza from Silver Tempest. But if it keeps going up, it's, you know, it's about to pass Rayquaza from Silver Tempest, Trainer Gallery, and that's, that's only at like 30, 31 bucks right now. So Garchomp is just aging well and um, handling the SWSH bubble very well, I, I dare say. All right, now let's get to the B-Maxes, the Moonbrion. We have Poor Man's Moonbrion on last week's, and we have the Moon Moonbrion on this week's. So look at this. Holy moly. So, just, uh, let's see, a week ago it was 850 bucks, now it's 950 bucks. Guys, here, pull up to one month, see right there, it's up 12%, which is a lot for an expensive card, on the one month chart. Let's look at some sales. I see a thousand dollar sale, I see another thousand, another thousand, I see an eleven hundred dollar, I see a thousand, I see a thousand, I see a thousand. Yeah, that'll, that'll help get it up to 950 from 850 real quick. So Moonbrion, uh-oh, guys. Sword and shield all turned on fire. Watch all the investor bros see this. And then on Monday, following next week, you're going to get Poke Jace. I mean, you're going to get random note to be named people telling you all the alt arts are starting. Buy now, buy now. Unless he already did. Did Poke Jace already make that video? Dude loves talking about alt arts. Um, <laughs> all right, so Rayquaza, here's another one. All these alt arts that are going up right now are from Evolving Skies specifically, as far as I know, from what I could tell. Rayquaza VMAX on the one month is up from 380 up over $400. And uh, let's see here real quick. You got 420, 420, 410, 410. Holy crap, there's a 5 freaking 50. There's a 550 in September of 2024 after the bubble. Someone paid 550 for this card. What the? But yeah, so doing doing well. Let's zoom it out so we can see the bubble. There's your bubble. There's your fizzle. And you can see a up trizzle. <laughs> Deep pocket monster would love that. He loves throwing out bars. Okay, so, uh, uh, and then here's the last one. Dragonite V. All right, Dragonite V. Uh, oh, speaking of Deep pocket monster, in case you guys didn't hear, a card party next year is going to be in Seattle, my hometown. <laughs> okay, anyway, Dragonite V. Everyone loves this card. This card is freaking beautiful. 130 on the one month, now up to 148%. Okay, it's an 8% increase. Let's pull it out so you can see the bubble. There's your bubble, 193 fizzle. And then, yeah, you can see that nice little uptrend right there. Let's pull it back. See right there, 123. And now again, now we're up to 140. From 123 up to 140 on the three month chart. Okay, now let's get into the best deal banger, guys. And this best deal banger, one, it's $20 off its high, and it's only a $25 card. So you're already getting a massive deal compared to just a couple months ago. But this card in a PSA 10 is literally worth 10 times, 10 times what it's worth. Raw. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? Did you see it in the tab so you already know? I don't know. But uh, you know, let, me, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to show you right now. It's Titar. Titar Paldeer. Paldeer, Paldeer, Paldeer. So look at this. Paldeer Vault. It was up to $45, right, in May. 45 okay. And now we're down to $26. let us just call it $20 off, okay? But one thing is still true to this day, even with $20 off the raw. It is $265 in a PSA 10. $260, $265, $280, $274, $270, $300, $350. dollars This card is a 10X in a PSA 10. And even better, let's say you get a 9, right? And you bought this card for $25. And then you put 15 in it to grade or something, so that's a $40 investment. Even if you get the 9, you can still sell the card for about 40 bucks in a grade 9, which means you can recover your money. So it's not even that crazy risky of a grade, okay? Especially when you're talking about a 
200 and I guess after fees and grading and cost, it'd be about a $220 profit if you get it in a 10 and sell it right now. Okay, so that is our best deal banger. All right, so there you go. That's it, that's today's video. Um, yeah, so one more video left in Poke Positivity uh, September and it's going to be Monday night and it's going to be courtesy of TCA Gaming and it is going to be the Celebrations ETB in the 25th anniversary booster box. And again, all the hits will be given away to you guys as like a little Celebrations uh, Poke Positivity September finale type scenario. And so my retro universe, Pokey, N E seven <laughs> and TCA gaming again. Thank you guys very much. Uh, yeah, I think we're all just about done with pokey positivity. Me too. Trust me. And I will see you guys on that video on Monday night. Deuces.